Empty Trips is a digital platform which uses machine learning and smart machining algorithms to create a marketplace where shippers, agents, and transport carriers can connect and find transport assets to move their cargo. Think of it as an Uber for cargo. But Benji Kutia, CEO of Empty Trips, says actually, think more Airbnb. How so, Benji? Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Um, so Empty Trips is a platform similar to Airbnb, but we use algorithms and machine learning to better match cargo demand to the supply of vehicles, be it a truck, train or plane. <laughs> um, the exchange is quite smart and a bit different um, because we have an intermodal focus. So we try to optimize both trucks, trains and sea vessels and a very big commodity focus, which is great for Africa. Absolutely. So how did the idea come about? Well, um, I spent a number of years in corporate and management consulting right. and I was privy to a lot of information about the inefficiencies in the industry and it actually came out that about 30% of trucks run empty in South Africa alone, sure. more so as you move north in Africa um, and in rail, it's nearly half of the rail wagons run empty or the rail won't run at all right. um, and that's a very unfortunate statistic. Um, so I started looking a bit more into the industry and I found that it's not just an African problem, it's a global problem. Right. Um, this misuse or unutilized asset, an yeah. expensive asset. Absolutely, it is so expensive. Yes. So how does it work? Um, in its very simplistic manner, yeah. the algorithm starts with a deck space matching. So that's the length, width and height um, of the carrying vehicle and the max carrying capacity of that vehicle and it matches that to the length, width, height and weight of the cargo that needs to move in a direction with geolocation mapping from the origin to the destination. Right. That was the very basic algorithm that we first wrote, well that I wrote in Excel, it was a multiple if function sure. and then that evolved over time to find multiple matches along routes um, and along different modes. So we started in tracking um, that was the easiest way into the market right. um, and we, there we work with the big corporates um, that are on the tracking side, sure. so the Imperials, the Grinrods, etc. Yeah, yeah. And now we're very excited, hopefully in two weeks we'll be launching the first digital rail exchange into wow, Africa, wow. targeting mining and agricultural product alone. And we're very excited about that because it's great for the environment, it's yeah. great for cost and yeah. it's really great for the continent to show that we're exporting a technology that can really impact the shared economy into Africa. Absolutely. Are you saying this thing is not found anywhere else in the world? So a key differentiator is the fact that no one focuses on commodities and right. nobody has a truck to train and vice versa option. So most of them are tracking apps. So Uber for Uber for freight is tracking only. Okay. So from that instance, we differentiate ourselves quite nicely. And also it's a marketplace. So we don't set the rates. We don't set the distances. We just manipulate uh -huh. the data and bring the different players together. So for once, you know, two competitors can actually talk to one another independently Absolutely. and transparently. So they won't hate you. They will actually like the fact that you're so. actually creating <laughs> business for them and making it easier for them to make more money. I hope so. Though forcing them to charge lower than ordinarily they would. So that's a catch-22. Yeah. One, we improve the utilization of the carrier's vehicle. So if they're running empty or... Um, not they in any case not making money on that empty space. So yeah. I'm bringing extra money for the empty space So sure. they're actually winning and on the vice versa the cargo owner or the commodity trader in particular Makes a win because they're paying a reduced rate. Yes, it's not always true um, For example, if it's peak season the price will go up because right. then it's not an empty rate, right? How long have you been doing this? So we launched in April last year. Okay, so you're a year old. Yeah, one year old, okay. little infant still. And survived. And survived. That and is a big. Money. That is a big thing. We do make some money, which is great. Fantastic. I have a good team. We have built a nice team, and we also won Africa's top startup. So next week I'm traveling to San Francisco. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Well done to you. To um, present at the Startup World Cup, and hopefully I'll bring that trophy home for Africa. Um, so it's 30 global companies presenting for a million dollars and that's a game changer for a startup in South Africa because there's sure. no real venture capital appetite in SA, Absolutely. it's more private equity. You won't be short of money, I can see that definitely. <laughs> How has Tech Up been? Um, tech startup life? No, Tech Up for your business. Oh, the Tech Up. People coming um, up on the platform. So and it's, the been, it's, it's been extremely fast traction in terms of the buy-in from corporates. Mm. They're very willing to work with us because we're independent. We're not owned by any one big transporter. Maybe not for long. Not for long. Well, <laughs> we'll see. Um, I, I need to ask you if someone <laughs> has been knocking on your door to say hello. We, we do have an investor that okay. came on board in September last year. With deep pockets. 
Um, I hope so. Okay. They are great investors, though. They're a listed company on the JSE, okay. um, and they're very much focused on the mining sector. So it's a nice compliment to them. Who's that? Um, Unicorn Capital. Okay. Um, so they've been fantastic, and they took the first risk with us, well, with me and my founder funding. Sure. So that's really bought us a lot of time, and this, hel this helped us also evolve the technology from a very simplistic platform to launching the first digital on-demand cargo insurance, and sure. that's kind of how we make money, is we upsell cargo insurance digitally, right. and we get an insurance um, referral fee based on that, yeah. which is the first of its kind globally. Absolutely. So it's, it's very exciting. In terms of traction, we've had over 200 corporates sign up to us in a wow. year. <laughs> yes, we've listed about 2,000 trips with those, testing, matching, bidding, and insuring the freight, and over, over 4,000 trucks that are on our books. Sure. Um, that makes us the largest fleet in Africa wow. um, without owning wow. a single truck. Absolutely. And in a year. year. So it's, it's very powerful. Phenomenal the, growth. Yeah, in the essence. And that's probably why I've aged as well in a year. <laughs> but it's super exciting and I, I can't thank my investors and my team more. And the impact on the industry. Yes. How has that been? Have you lowered, have you held to lower freight yes. rates? Yeah, so on average, shippers, so cargo owners, will save about 23% per consignment. That's 3% more than the Tesla semi truck promises per mile. Sure. So imagine if Elon Tesla. Musk. Yeah. <laughs> so imagine Elon Musk and I had to combine our resources because yeah, he has yeah, the truck yeah. and I can fill that truck. I think we can still call him <laughs> South African. You need to call him. <laughs> well, cl I'll claim it. I'll claim it. Absolutely. Benji, well done. Thank you. And Thank you. Uh, when you come back from San Francisco, you come and talk to us? I will definitely come show off that trophy and that check.